Authorities say the failure of a security barrier was the key reason why a Malaysian driver in a gold Mercedes-Benz managed to breach the Woodlands checkpoint yesterday. The Immigration and Checkpoints Authority says this is the first time the barrier had failed. It allowed the 65-year-old to drive off even after the tires of his car were punctured. The driver has been arrested and four others are assisting with investigations. Well, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs Teo Chi Hian says measures to make Singapore's checkpoints more secure will be put in place as soon as possible. The incident comes less than two months after a Malaysian registered car had reached Woodlands checkpoint on January 17. Singapore authorities recounted the sequence of events leading to the latest breach in an hour-long media briefing on Sunday. The driver had arrived at Woodlands checkpoint at 3.53 p.m. and was cleared by immigration. He proceeded to the secondary checks zone where an officer asked to check the spare tire compartment. The driver then got into his car and drove away. An officer ran after the car but fell and injured himself. While fleeing, the driver overtook a moving car, went up the curb and then crashed through the security barrier that had already been activated. The driver entered Singapore 12 minutes after arriving at the checkpoint. A video of leaked CCTV footage from the causeway has been making the rounds on the internet in the past 24 hours, having been posted or shared on the various websites and on Twitter. The 22-second video clip shows the car running into the barrier. An officer then whips out his baton and approaches the driver's door. He is joined by several other officers. One of them tries to open the passenger door on the driver's side but is unsuccessful and the driver manages to dash through the barrier. The police say they are investigating how the video was leaked. The authorities say the focus was on establishing the identity of the driver before an island-wide manhunt was initiated. An alert was sent out to taxi companies 35 minutes after the driver entered Singapore, asking for help to look up for the vehicle. Some four and a half hours later, the authorities recovered the abandoned vehicle. The driver was arrested at another location 45 minutes later at 9.15 p.m. He was said to have abandoned his Mercedes and used other forms of transport. In a separate statement, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs Teo Chi Hien said the incident reinforces the findings of a review after the January incident, that the alarm and barrier systems at the checkpoints are inadequate and need to be improved. Mr Teo added that the response protocols and training of officers at the checkpoints also need to be improved sharply. He also said the ICA Commissioner will review if further enhancements are needed in the wake of Saturday's incident. Chairman for the Government Parliamentary Committee for Law and Home Affairs, Hari Kuma said he's concerned that a normal saloon car managed to get through the security barrier. You can have a situation whereby uh, the car is loaded with, with uh, ordnance and, and just runs through the barrier. Uh, and by the time uh, you recover the vehicle, it may well be too late. I mean, from the causeway to any part of Singapore, it's, it's just an hour the most. Um, and so we need to have the infrastructure to make sure vehicles can't go through uh, without uh, our allowing them to do so. The driver who has been arrested is said to travel across the causeway on an almost daily basis. The police said a package suspected to be drugs was also recovered from the operation. Two men said to be associated with the driver were approached by police to help with investigations while they were separately leaving Singapore for Malaysia. After the driver was arrested, two other Singaporeans were also brought in to assist in investigations. The police are investigating the driver for offences including evasion of customs, vandalism and possibly drug-related offences.